All right. <laughs> I almost forgot to hit record there. No sign of Shinra. No. Yeah. Looks like an old Republic landing. Could yeah. Borrow a boat, make our way across. Then head on through the mines and keep going till we hit Junon. Good old Junon. Why not? Yeah, why not? Yeah. Then maybe we swim it. This swamp is home to the deadly Midgard Sommer. Midgard Sommer. But even if you're slow, you can learn to choke a bow. We'll see you safely past being nothing if not fast. So just give Phil the word and he'll pick you out. A bird. Wow. <laughs> some birds can we how about we steal some birds grand theft chocobo Fine. <laughs> all right let's explore more of the dock here more of the abandoned dock let's see what we got yeah nothing and here yeah. phoenix down I don't like how the game gives me so many Phoenix Downs. Like, it just... It keeps me on so... Like, on edge. That at any moment, I could just get completely gotten. Yeah, it's like, it, at any time, I could just get just one-shotted. Make me a little uneasy, not gonna lie. Timber, mellow oak. Oh, we got more orcs. And a moo. Abilities, let's assess the moo. Ow! Fucker! You know what? Just for that asshole, I'm gonna steal something. You prick. Ow! Pressure him. And done. Okay. Man, fuck those moves. They're kind of assholes. Ah, there's no sign. I was like, why is there, like, only one sign for a place that's, you know, two and a half miles away? Oh, that was quick. So it's not down that way, it's up. But I could go down this way. Let's see, is there anything over here that looks interesting? No. Not at all.
Neither up there. Good to know. Okay. All right. Let's head over to the Jogbo farm. Ah, there's a windmill. Telltale sign of civilization. Weak to water. I need to find like a water material. Anything to steal off the move. I missed. Fifteen XP and one AP. I'm just so goddamn used to play after playing like eighty hours of like a dragon, I keep wanting to hold X to uh to sprint. Yeah, I just I just want to keep holding X. So I just start running like an idiot. Ooh, Cloud, you are you are hurting. Cloud is they, they, we're 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 not in a good shape. <laughs> we're not in a good a good spot here. Not gonna lie, we're kind of really hurting right now. Hello there, are you Bill? Well, well. If it ain't my favorite group of hitchhikers. Oh, fancy meeting you. Hey, Bill. Thanks again for the right to call me. Ah, uh, don't mention it. It's the least I could do for two such lovely young ladies. <laughs> Alright, dude, keep it in your pants. Neglected to introduce myself. The name's Bill, and you can count on me for a lift anytime. Anywho, what can I do you for? You in the market for some fine feathered friends by any chance? Sure am. Are we ever? Need him to get through the swamp lands. Then you have come to the right place. Back in the day, we had Republic ferries to get us from A to B, but now they're nothing but driftwood, sadly. We got the next best thing, though, chocobos. To them, a bottomless bog's no worse than a kiddie pool. Now, ladies, you're probably wondering, what gives these birds the power to glide across swamps with ease? Would you believe that their fluffy feathers give them the buoyancy to float while their limber legs can outrun a motorboat? Not even the dreaded Midgard Sormer, one of the fastest fiends around, can keep up with them. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. But you don't need convincing. You just need pointing to a hard-working chocobo, nature's two-legged limousine. So can we rent some? Sure can. My grandson Billy's in the stable over yonder. He'll help you out. Bill and Billy. Ooh, burst. The. Uh... Let's see. What can we increase? Increase health by two hundred for Cloud. Red, you can get. Let's just do that. Whatever. Hmm. 
I forget about the synergy moves. They're taken care of. Cushions are on sale. Let's get an ice materia. And I'm basically running low on funds. Uh, Aerith would be a good candidate for the ice materia. Rare wind and wind damage up. Give you the ice. Let's rest. Let's use a cushion. Oh, didn't need a cushion. I guess it's only at those other ones. The ones out in the field. I need a I need a thing to activate these towers. Ooh, Ooh a ruby. Nice. Ooh, and a chest. Even better. What do we got? Alright, pin. Alright, pinion. This is a nice little farmhouse you got here. Well, big. Yeah, moderate-sized farmhouse. Just hoping there'd be stuff around here. Guess not. Billy, Billy. Howdy! Hey, howdy! Need some chocobos to cross the swamp. I'm sorry, Pops, but you're out of luck. Wow. Okay, you no fucking words. little twat. This one went this morning. Could have fooled me, kid. These are spoken for. Bad or they're not fit for riding. <laughs> but I can see you're in a bind, so I'll bump you up the list. For a price, of course. Which is? Ten grand each. <laughs> the thing is, we don't have that kind of money. Or any, really. Yeah, I just spent money on potions and stuff. Well, there is one other option. Only cost you a grand. Uh, I won't even have that. Is what a scoundrel might say. But I wouldn't huh. dream of distressing y'all further. Just so happens one of our birds ran off the other day. Wild thing, but still a fine chocobo. If you can manage to find and catch him, then he's yours. Free of charge. You sure? Yeah, why not? Name's Pico. The hardest headed bird you'll ever meet. By far. And he's the spitting image of Pops here. <laughs> you can start by looking he, for He's like 26. And you're sure to find the feet that Cloud's way. younger than now, I am. can be a bit skittish around people. But if you play it cool and creep up real quiet like, you'll wrangle him no problem. I think we can do that. Thanks. And one last thing. This info comes free of charge, provided you promise to stop by our shop. Speak to Chloe back there. She'll sell you whatever you need. <laughs> Kid's a born businessman. <laughs> if y'all can catch if anything, Barrett's the pops here. here. Riding and rearing lessons are on me. Yeah. 
me just snag this stuff right here. Ooh, a timeless rod. Let's see. Oh, that's just significantly better. And it's got another material slot. Because those are connected. Oh. Nope. I wanted weapon slot. Fire damage up. A lot of things are weak to fire. Most things are weak to fire. <laughs> okay. All right. Sorry about my brother. Hi, Chloe. All he thinks about is money. He's just doing his job. We understand. I suppose. But he's been a real pain about it ever since our parents left. <sighs> Say, are you guys from Midgard? Yeah, the Undercity. Then do you happen to know Chocobo Sam? Um, yeah. Not very well. Yeah. But, yeah I know I Chocobo Sam. Know. I don't know Chocobo Where Sam. He? Probably the Sector 6 slums. He's a big deal in Wall. Um... Why do you ask? I was thinking about reaching out. It's his fault mom and dad are gone, so... Chloe, that's none of these good folks' business. But they could help! Don't tell anyone what she told you. Sam's one of the biggest names in the business. I'll tell, I'll tell everyone I know. Our ranch is done for. Don't worry, your secret's safe with us. I promise. Oh, take these greens. You can give them to Pico when you find him. They were always his favorite treat, you see. Maybe he'll come back once he's had a taste. Right. It's just a radish. We sell you stuff, huh? Billy will throw a fit if I don't at least try to get you to spend a few gil. No pressure, but if anything catches your eye. Also, if you have any golden plumes on you, I can exchange them for Chocobo gear. So be sure to hand them over if you do. Okay. Let's see. Do I have any chocobo plumes? None. Bye. Hint seeds, sage, beast talon. You know what? Let's. Let's. let's you know what? Just because I feel bad. I hope Pico doesn't give you all too much trouble. New discovery made? Oh. Pico's gonna give us nothing but trouble, guaranteed. Sounds like a twat. Oh my god. Oh wait, never mind. <laughs> I was like There's I was like there's no fucking shot. Alright, so Billy. Need something? How can I find Wall Chocobo? For fresh tracks. Once you spot them, birds are rarely more than a stone's throw away. Birds in the wild are much more skittish than kept ones. Gonna have to be real quiet on the approach, else they'll bolt. Tell me about riding gear. gear serves all sorts of purposes, from the cosmetic to the practical. Can even improve a race bird's performance. Won't cost you a gill. Golden plumes only. So what do you do with golden plumes? Can you tell me which way Pico went? You mean Pico? Let's play the Pico Bill, do you know anything? Probably ought to go and check on the signs before my truck decides to die on me again. You're useless. I hate you, Bill. Follow the chocobo tracks. Alright, that's cool. Where are the chocobo tracks, though?
I feel like I'm just going to be wandering it aimlessly for a minute. So, um, well, let's see. What can we, what, what can we talk about here? Well, uh, well, I wander around aimlessly looking for Pico. Um... So, for those who don't know, I am. Let's let's, let's see what's what's going on in my life here. I'm trying to trying to think of like what's going on in my life. Uh, nothing much, honestly. Um, uh, Jesus Christ! I just realized how boring of a person I am. So I watched um I watched the second season of uh Clarkson's Farms. Ooh, what is that over there? I want to explore that. Uh so I watched the second season of the show Clarkson's Farms. Um really really fun show. I'm a huge uh, I was a huge fan of Top Gear back in the day. Um I got a what was it? I got... Was that back when I had, like, swine flu? I think it was when I had swine flu. Um, or at least the doctor said I had swine flu, so I had, like, a week off of work. What is that mushroom? Um, I had a week off of school. It was pretty great. Um, I was sick for a day. Um, but... I, I started watching, uh, Top Gear on Netflix. The BBC version and absolutely fell in love with the show thought it was great mog oh. thought it was great absolutely i love the i love the the chemistry between the trio um but and that's actually inspired me a few times to uh cash locations oh um Yeah, it, it kind of inspired me to do some stuff of my own. Um, older series, like, that I didn't really, didn't really take off or do anything much with. Um, but I absolutely, I loved Top Gear, and then, um, then they went on to do the Grand Tour after they left Top Gear. So... When I found out that Jeremy Clarkson was doing a show, he did a show where he's running a farm, I thought it was super interesting, so I watched it, and it was, it's, it's a pretty fun show. Um, it's got everything you would want. Hey, trophy time. Um, yeah, I mean, that's, I would highly recommend it, it's on Amazon Prime. It actually kind of got me, like, interested in farming, honestly. Like, it, it just seems, like, really... Like, it's not something that I would, like... I wouldn't want to have, like, an actual, like, huge farm. But, like, maybe just, like, a little bit of land. Um, a little bit of land just to myself that I can, like... Not, like, super, like, heavily cultivate or anything, but... No. <laughs> Can't jump to my death. Um... Yeah, it's, it just seems like a very soothing, but at the same time, like, super stressful job. Oh, my God. I didn't even realize we went that far over. Um, let's see. What else? Yeah, I mean, honestly, like, most of the stuff I do, especially since, um, especially since Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth came out, that's basically been my, been my free time. Honestly, I've just been just chucking, uh, just trucking through that, um, trying to platinum it. Um, I do have some videos 
in the pipeline. Something a little different. Um, I bought this thing. Uh, the I think it's called the oh Project X. It's a little um, like handheld I bought off of like AliExpress for like fifty bucks. So I recorded, uh, I recorded me, like, messing around with it and kind of, like, reviewing it and talk about it. Um, kind of running it through its paces. And that was, that was really fun to do. Um, one day I'll get around to, to uploading that, like, editing it and uploading it. Um, not 100% sure if I want to do it on, like, the main channel or my secondary channel. Uh, Jimmy Noodles Extra, which used to be my main channel way back in the day. Okay, bud. I'm gonna need you to fucking chill. Yeah, be, um, yeah, that that's that was fun to do. Oh, material world. Ooh, I leveled up a or material orb. Oh, chakra increased. Sweet. Oh, so other people like even if they're not in my active party, they can still level up their materia. That's neat. Yeah, I I really want to do more stuff like that. And I've been working on a pretty, pretty big project. Um, a huge retrospective on... Retrospective review kind of thing on uh, all of the Yakuza and Like a Dragon games. I took a small little break from it, but uh, I'm going to start getting back into it. Um currently writing the script well getting footage and taking notes for um zero and that's going to be a a fun long form video <coughs> that i'm going to be doing and i want to do more of those because I, I i've written a few reviews in the past for things um yeah, I've written a few things in the past, um, and had an absolute blast doing it. I thought it was it was so much fun um, putting you know pen to paper for God knows how long, recording footage, uh, talking about all the interesting things with like a specific game or something. There it is. Okay, we're 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 on our way. We're going the right way. We didn't pass it or something. Um, Yeah, I mean, that's that's kind of one thing like I absolutely really enjoy is um, it, it's funny because like I hated in like high school in school. I hated writing, absolutely hated all writing assignments. But now that I'm like an adult and I can write whatever I want, it's it's become a lot more enjoyable. And that's that's kind of like a passion of mine that Something that's turned into like a passion of mine is is writing content, scripted content. And that's one thing I really wanna really wanna get started on doing more and more. Let me guess, this is locked. Yup. Still have no idea where fucking Pico is. Or where these tracks are. I know I'm completely off the beaten path here. Wonder if I can unlock the door from this side. Nope. And then I want to also, uh, another thing I want to do is I want to get into playing, um, playing The Sims on, like, stream or something. Just kind of messing around with that. Uh, because I do enjoy The Sims. It's one of my, one of my, like, go-to, I, I wouldn't say, like, favorite series, but it's, like, definitely a series that I will get hooked on for a month and that's really all that i play i 
I don't understand the point of this place. I'm sure, I mean, the view is amazing. Beautiful view. Except maybe not over there, but over here. Be beautiful view. Um, yeah, that's just some of the things that I've, uh, I've been kind of working on and putzing around with. This episode is just going to be James rambles on for an hour about random stuff. Because he cannot figure out where to find a goddamn joke bow. That's going to be the title just rolls off the tongue. Oh. Oh, they... Things hurt, man. Oh, uh, spells. Fire. I might actually drop the difficulty a little bit, not gonna lie. Or spend so, so, so much time grinding. Uh, we haven't looked over here. Ooh, an emerald. Numius Ashes. Ashashin. I played the uh, the new Assassin's Creed game, uh, Mirage, I think it's called. That was a... Uh, it was a perfectly cromulent video game. That's that's the best I can say about it. And I, I've, I've noticed something, too, when playing games like more of a critical eye. It's, at least for me, it's a lot easier to talk about games that are bad. It's a lot easier to talk about, in my opinion, the flaws of a game. Or, I mean, anything, really. Uh, movies, um, books, etc. It's it's easier to, to talk about the flaws than it is to talk about uh, the strengths. Because, like, if I talk about this game, for example, it's like, oh... It controls good. The controls are fine. But how can I convey that? And still, like, kind of... Oh, we could swim. Um, and, like, still try to convey it in a way that makes it interesting. You know? But when, like, a game is, is bad, when... It's like, oh, I can say uh, the controls are very slippery. Uh, they're not respons They're unresponsive at times. Things like that. I could say stuff like that. Oh, there's a bird that lives here. Um, yeah, or like the story makes absolutely no sense. I guess story is kind of a little different. Um, just because you can go through the the major plot points and explain what is good nuances etc etc um <clears throat> yeah i just I, I find it a lot easier for me to talk about things i do not like problems i have i can go on for hours and hours and hours about what is wrong with um, the problems that Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth has? I can I can talk to you about that for hours, and it's not because it's a bad game. Far from it. It's it's great. It's it has some of the best. It has honestly some of the best characters and character development in the entire series. Um, 
but it's just so easy to talk about what is wrong with it like the story completely goes off the rails and not in a good way it makes it ends up not making sense for a little bit um when it comes to characters direction and their their um whatchamacallit like their um trying to think of the word um like their purpose you know it's it's like uh, especially near like where i'm at i'm chapter 10 of 14 i feel like this place is going to be something someday um but yeah chapter like 10 of 14 and um right at the end of chapter 9 it's like oh well okay things are starting to go off the rails with the character's motivations with with the the antagonist's motivations um, it's not really making sense. It's kind of out of left field. Um, and even some of the, your main characters, like, I'm sure they will explain some of the things, but, you know, it's just, uh, it's just, it's, it's uh, a little bit easier for me to talk about that as opposed to how, you know, the game does a fantastic job of, making of of completely making kiryu a i don't want to say completely different character but adding so much depth to his already established character um and how it just does an absolute wonderful i thought that's buried i thought that was an orc um yeah it just does a fantastic incredible actually job of turning kiryu almost i don't want to say into a completely different character but again yeah it's it, it just adds so much depth to his already his character that's already there you know Fuck you, bitch. And uh, hit him with the fire. That was a lot tougher than I was hoping it would be. Another thing too is like, I'm really excited that this year at least from what I've seen, at least from what's been announced so far, is going to be kind of a slower year for games. Um, just because last year was such an absolute banger, and, that, and that's uh, for people watching this in the future, um, 2023 <coughs> was such a, hey, there's a tank. Um, 2023 was such an absolute like, banger of a year for gaming. True. Cloud, please, thank you. Ooh, a high potion. Nice. Thousand gill, let's go. Yeah, I mean, last year we had... I mean, after, after I think, unless something crazy gets announced here, 
um, that's coming out. Um, the really the the last game coming out that I'm really excited for is the end of March this month, um, which is um, Dragon's Dogma Two. That's really it. That's I mean everything else. It's like okay, nothing nothing really catches my eye. At least that's what I as as of looking yesterday. Um, yeah, everything just kind of looks meh, and that gives me gives me plenty of time to uh, catch up on my backlog, I guess. Or hell, even like. Even like slowing down on games. I'm playing games. <laughs> Wonder if he went this way. Wonder if the Chukbo went this way. You know, because I mean, it's. I don't, I just don't want to get kind of burned out, you know. As I as I'm. Famous to do. Oh, there's a chocolate right there. Bingo. Yeah, come on, y'all. Let's go back. Come, come on, come on. Keep it down. When you're on the hunt, you don't want to startle your prey. Prey? You know we're not here to kill him, right? Yeah. Not with that attitude. <clears throat> Approach Pika without getting noticed. If you're in danger of being spotted by him or one of his pack mates, quickly press circle to roll out of sight. You can also distract Chocobos by throwing stones you pick up. Use L1 to aim and square to throw. Metal Gear ain't got nothing on this. What do you mean Chocobos spotted me? You didn't fucking see me, dude. Get out of here. I want to sleep now. That's a big ass rock. That was fun. <laughs> hey, it got two gold plumes. Where? Isn't he just the cutest? I was getting jealous. Kind of similar, totally. <laughs> oh, ooh, it's like a little trap remix. What does he want now? Do you think maybe he's still hungry? Sorry, that's all the food we had. But you know where there's more? Bill's place. <coughs> To the ranch it is 
Oh. Oh, god damn it. Quay, quay. down, let's save. Alright. All healed up. Save. I think we will take a little bit of a break here.